Hi, my name is Jiu Lim and I'm from Korea and I'm taking MPM program, program for Masters of Public Management. Hi, my name is Marianne Fregia Gilo. Mm -hmm. I'm from the Philippines and I'm also an MPM student. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> Personally, I chose MPM because I wanted to have an experience from another perspective. I wanted to uh, learn from industry leaders and what I saw from the program was that the professors and the faculty from the MPM program are from industry leaders and uh, they are people who have had considerable experience in not just public sector management but as well in private sector. So I wanted to uh, learn more from them and be able to have another perspective in terms of public sector management and government service. True, yeah, I, that was one of my motivations too. So I applied to the MPM program because I thought I ha already have learned about the international relations in my undergraduate. Uh, so I could learn and I know about what is the international relations theories and political theories. But what I want to do in the future is about like public participation or like participatory governance. And for that, I have to know about the policy process. So I apply to the MPM program, so where I can learn about the systems and the mechanisms of how the pro policy process is gone. So I, that's why I chose this program. I would say that MPM combines both theory and practice in its um, curriculum. Mm -hmm. So aside from learning about the theories and the concepts, just like what Chiu said, we are taught systems, we are taught processes. So um, that's, uh, I would personally say that's complementary to all the paradigms and all the, the concepts that, that's being taught. So, being able to learn not just the information but have considerable practice for it I think is what makes MPM unique and um, on top of that we are taught how to manage development or how to promote development which is a key difference with MPP and, MP and MDP because yes. for, that, for those programs I would say the, the the medium of instruction is more on what to do, but MPM teaches us what, how to do it. Yes, if I can add something more on your answer, because your answer is quite perfect, you know. <laughs> um, I think I'm taking some of the classes from the other programs, MPP or DP program, and I feel like other than just focusing on the theories or the system and how it works in the real world, they are more focused on the topics. So like a theme, the what or which. Mm -hmm. So like, for example, I'm taking the ethics class from the other course and like environmental issue, or climate change or G20. So those kind of the topics are picked from the other program, but other, but different from them. MPM program is more concentrated on the process, analysis, and the tools in that governance, like negotiation, dispute resolutions, like and communications, and those kind of the skills are what we have learned and uniquely different from the other programs. I agree with all that, and yes. I'm I'm glad we were on those classes together, yes. and I've been able to participate in not just the the. Um, conceptual part of the process but be able to do the simulations or the exercises together those were really fun things to do yes so that's why that class was so popular from even from other programs yeah. I agree. yes there's so many to be honest yes. like we truly enjoy most of our classes with the MPM program can I go first for yeah that? sure go ahead uh, I will sure we sure re, um, recommend the GCS program the government communication service from the professor Tejun Lee and I took it in the last semester and it was um, I could learn about what is the mechanism and the framework of that com government communication. I don't like the government communication, it's just like a promotion tools or something, but they, actually they are working for them and I could learn how because 
the, he, the professor has hired the OECD framework in the program, so I could learn about that. So, oh, that is working under the certain framework. And also during that class with the group uh, assignment and individual assignment, I could learn about like the case studies. So there was about like 30 students in the class, so I could hear about 30 more like cases in the real world and what has been done well and what has been done quite bad so I can learn from the real world. So I, I surely recommend that course to the students, especially because in, I graduated quite recently, so I have some little working experience, so that was really valuable for me. Those, those are things that I completely agree with. And like you said, being able to learn not just from the professors, but also from the class made up of so many nationalities, mm. people from different countries with different backgrounds. Mm. Those are the fun things or like the best part of being in this program. And for me, I would say that um, in our PPA class yes. with Professor Lee jung Sar, the policy yes, process I analysis, I would also highly recommend it, not just for MPM students, but for those in the other program, because with this class, we were taught not just theories, but we were able to be trained to think more logically. Mm, like yes. The exercises in class were designed so that we would be more analytic yes. and more critical with our processes and with our um, outputs. And at the same time, we were taught uh, to work on our own uh, vision plan in yes. a logical framework. Vision statement. So in a <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's, it's refreshing to be able to take a class that teaches you not just about the concepts, about um, development theories, but also to look inward and process those things for yourself mm -hmm. and be able to um, uh, analyze them and um, put them into paper, into, yes. uh, into a framework, as you may, like, like we did in our class. You were, but to um, visualize it. So that was refreshing and that's a little bit different from what I've been taking in the other classes and I truly enjoy that and I would highly recommend to yes. other students. The skills that we have learned in that class was like SWOT analysis mm -hmm. and like efficiencies exactly. and LMF, the three <laughs> logical thinking tools. Yeah. Could you I name remember. that? <laughs> Could you name them now? Logic tree, yeah. multidimensional yes. framework. And oh, the last one was the flowchart. The right. flowcharts. Yes. I'm actually I'm using that for other coursework. Exactly. Yeah. Those are very useful tools that we learned that we are not only able to use in that class but also in our other classes, and that was very memorable. I would yes. say, yes. I'm glad we took that together. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>I would recommend the MPM program to um, those who are in government for some time or like looking into leadership roles or management positions because I think the MPM program is uh, a good springboard for those roles. It would be a good foundation for managerial positions because uh, the courses are also designed to enhance leadership skills, management skills if you may, and uh, I thought I think those would be very uh, important skills to learn if you're looking to move up, be it in the private sector or in the public sector. So I would recommend it not just to those in government, but also in the public and the private sector. And like I mentioned earlier, we could truly learn from the faculty who has had very good experience in the private sector. So that's a very unique uh, unique um, part of the program. So I would recommend it to those people. I think I was one of those the prospective students <laughs> you mentioned because I was looking for the, the PA, you know, the PA concentration, the public administration and the leadership. So that's why I applied to this. That was one of my reasons to apply this course. So I, I, that the lines with the mentioning about the international like leaders, mm -hmm. like leadership, those was quite fascinating for me. Um, for me, um, if I uh, recommend this program to the prospect students who are quite interested in the international affairs or domestic affairs, it doesn't matter, but if he or she is quite interested in that policy making process or governance, but 
already has some background knowledge with the international affairs or topics, but still don't know about how. So as we mentioned above, in this program, we learned about some the pro like systems mm -hmm. and the processes. So that could be really helpful to when they build up their own knowledges. That's true, yeah. I agree. And I just want to add like, um, as we keep seeing nowadays, the trend is globalization. Yes. The lines among countries are blurring. And in the same time, industries are uh, being more merged with the public sector. So those things, they are interconnected and they often go hand in hand. And with the MPM program, we are able to cover those areas. Yes, PPP. Exactly. Yeah. We are able to study those things and find a system or a way to make those um, connections more efficient, make those processes more systematic. And I think yes. those are important things that any employee, be it in the private sector or the, or, or the government sector, should be learning. So I think being in this program would be helpful yes. for a good number of people yes. <laughs> who want especially want to know about the systems or the theories framework That's right true. yes <laughs>